Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where prophets speak and words are strong. song to welcome us together as we come from the events of our day to share this time in prayer and hearing God's word. It's good to welcome you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us, Let us rejoice, rejoice and, and exult and, and give, give God, God the glory. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. 
as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, a song of joy, we say together. Be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. For we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The day is now past, the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, Receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for this evening, Psalm 135, we say by alternate verses. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, you servants of the Lord, who stand, stand in the house, the house of the Lord, Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is gracious. Sing praises to his name, for it is good. For the, the Lord, Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel as his own possession. I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is above all gods. He does, does whatever, whatever he wills in heaven and upon the earth, in the seas and in the great depths. He brings up clouds from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain and brings the wind out of his storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both man and beast alike. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and against all his servants. He struck down great nations and slew mighty kings, Sion, king of the Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and all the princes of Canaan. He made over their land as a heritage, a heritage for Israel, his people. O Lord, your name shall endure forever, so shall your renown throughout all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people, he will take pity on his servants. As for the idols of the nations, they are but silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths but speak not, they have eyes but they cannot see. They have ears, yet hear nothing. There is no breath in their nostrils. Those who make them shall be like them, so shall everyone that trust in them. Bless the Lord, O house of Israel. Bless the Lord, O house of Aaron. Bless the Lord, O house of Levi. You that fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he that dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. God our Saviour, you sent Jesus into the world of sin and delivered him up to death for us. Kindle in our hearts the same love with which he loved his own to the end, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is Joshua chapter 4. When the entire nation had finished crossing over the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Select twelve men from the people, one from each tribe, and command them to take twelve stones from here, out of the middle of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's feet stood, 
carry them over with you and lay them down <coughs> me. in the place where you camp tonight. Then Joshua summoned the twelve men from the Israelites whom he had appointed, one from each tribe. Joshua said to them, Pass on before the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan, and each of you take up a stone on his shoulder, one for each of the tribes of Israel of the Israelites, so that this may be a sign among you. When your children ask in time to come, What do these stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off in front of the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it crossed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off, so these stones shall be to the Israelites a memorial forever. The Israelites did as Joshua commanded. They took up twelve stones out of the middle of the Jordan, according to the number of the tribes of the Israelites, as the Lord told Joshua, carried them over with them to the place where they camped, and laid them down there. Joshua set up twelve stones in the middle of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant has stood, and they are there to this day. The priests who bore the Ark remained standing in the middle of the Jordan until everything was finished that the Lord commanded Joshua to tell the people, according to all that Moses had commanded Joshua. The people crossed over in haste. As soon as all the people had finished crossing over, the ark of the Lord and the priests crossed over in front of the people. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh crossed over armed before the Israelites, as Moses had ordered. About 40,000 armed for war crossed over before the Lord to the plains of Jericho for battle. On that day, the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all of Israel, and they stood in awe of him, as they had stood in awe of Moses all the days of his life. The Lord said to Joshua, Command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant to come up out of the Jordan. Joshua therefore commanded the priests, Come up out of the Jordan. When the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord came up from the middle of the Jordan, and the soles of the priests touched dry ground, the waters of the Jordan returned to their place, and overflowed all its banks as before. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month. They camped at, in Gilgal on the eastern border of Jericho. Those twelve stones which they had taken out of the Jordan, Joshua set up in Gilgal, saying to the Israelites, When your children ask their parents in time to come, what do these stones mean? Then you shall let your children know, Israel crossed over the Jordan here on dry ground, for the Lord your God had dried up the waters of the Jordan for you until you crossed over as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which he dried up for us, dried up for us until we crossed over, so that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty and so that you may fear the Lord your God forever. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The second reading tonight continues the reading from 1 Peter, chapter 4. Commencing at verse 3. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles would like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing, and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, so they blaspheme. But they will have to give an account to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. 
For this is the reason the gospel was proclaimed, even to the dead. So that though they had been judged in the flesh like everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with what Every gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. May your word live in us and bear, bear much fruit, fruit to your glory. glory. Thanks, John. So we come to the second of our canticles, the song to Christ's glory. We say it together. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did but he not did cling, cling to, to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. A prayer of the week. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life of all who put their trust in him, raise us, we pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may ever seek the things which are above, where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We share with the Anglican Communion around the world today in praying for the Diocese of Sheffield in England. I uphold to you the bishops, clergy and people of that diocese. May they know your wisdom and encouragement as they serve you in their various communities. In Australia we pray for the Diocese of Perth, Kay Goldsworthy, Kay Goldsworthy their Archbishop, Assistant Bishops Kate Wilmont, Jeremy James, the clergy and people of that diocese. In our own diocese, we pray for the parish of Algester on the south side of Brisbane. Christopher Bate, their parish priest, for your people as they serve you in that part of Brisbane. And this day we pray for all men's sheds that operate in connection with parishes. We pray your blessing, guidance and encouragement on that ministry. In the schools we pray for Westmorton Anglican College, commonly known as West Mac. Jeff McClay, their principal. Louise Orpe, the chaplain. Bruce Saxon, 
as he chairs the school council. We pray for the members of the school council, the staff, the students, and their families. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. As we pray for our community this day, we bring to mind the different suburbs that make up our parish here. We pray this night for the suburb of Deegan, giving thanks for its long history. We're mindful of the redevelopment that is happening as old houses are replaced with new or old houses renovated and the changes that are taking place in that suburb. Help us in our ministry to the people of that suburb. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And Father, we bring to mind the diversity of communities in which we live. Mindful that those who gather for this service come from many parts of Australia as well as overseas. And so we call to mind the different communities, be it in Queensland, in Victoria, in Western Australia, overseas. We pray that for one another that we may each be as salt and light in the life of the communities where we live. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Loving God, we uphold to you those who carry heavy burdens on the road of life. Heavy burdens arising from great traumas that have been experienced in their past. We pray your healing upon them. Help them to bring their burdens to you and find in you comfort, a peace and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those tasked with seeking out the one that would be the next Archbishop of this diocese. We pray your wisdom and guidance on their discussion and their seeking. Help them to be uh, creative and open to the surprises that your spirit can bring. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. And so we come to pray for our families, those who live near to us, those who live far away. We thank you, Father, that while we're not always able to be with family, yet you are. And so we bring to you our petitions and intercessions for them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we come to the evening collect. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest on your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, we look forward to you joining with us tomorrow. Reminder those who live locally that our thrift shop is open tomorrow. And I understand there's a $5 or a bag sale again tomorrow for clothes. And we give thanks for the opportunity of ministering in the community in that way. So for now, we bid you good night and God bless. <laughs>